True. It's going to be th their fourth outing on Dust2 in this tournament. Quite exciting, I guess. But Vegas Gordon certainly the surprise package. See what I've done there? Yeah, I did. That was one of your better ones. Yeah, see? And uh, they've, been, they've shown themselves to be an incredibly skilled lineup in terms of actually raw mechanical stuff going on. Dust2, I think, is the best map they could have hoped for. We've had great showings on cash. Dust2, similar play style. But against Envious, I'm not so sure how this one's going to go down. We'll see. The loser goes home. The winner goes to the major, of course. We're going to get it straight into this one. Vega Squadron versus Envious. It will be the T-side start for the Russians. They're going to have three sets of armor, a smoke, and any upgraded pistols? A Deagle as well. A different type of Superman. Merc with the Deagle and armor as well. He won't be going towards mid for now. They'd like to actually go towards B, pick that up a platform, can't be quite a viable position, and MBK will be waiting on the receiving end. Let's see if he gets his head blown off, or maybe he can come up trumps with the silent USP. He's going to wait at top middle as well. JR just to wait for rotations coming back across. Happy's there. Smoke on Xbox actually gives him a bit of room to wiggle in, and he takes full advantage of it. Lovely shot to take down JR to start it off. That's going to push them into B a lot faster. They've lost their right wing, go hard to the left. Fortunately, they're getting mowed down. Sixer with two, MBK follows up, and, well, Superman's about to be dead. As Apex will take down Mir. Yeah, big game. You can hear what that means to Envious there. They managed to keep all five players alive. A slow B approach coming from Vegas Gordon. But you can see Envious with the perfect set of that. Apex watching lower B. We saw him in the previous game, how strong he is in that position. Gets the first frag, funnels him towards that B site, and then six up. MBK doing some great work here. His sixer from the window as well. MBK takes all the aggro. They're trying to focus on that upper platform. And so this pops him off. No problem at all. Round number two comes in. Not necessarily a force by here from Vegas Squadron. They're going to have Deagles, four of those, but no nades to work with. We normally discuss it's going to be up towards short. Will be the main objective for the terrorist side in these sort of situations. Try and get that bomb down. Chopper, though, finds some control towards long, but a flashbang hits him in the face. He's going to have to go towards the blue bin right now. And we'll see whether he can actually get anything rolling here. It looks like Happy has some awareness as to where he is. Push back. Problem is Molotov. Oh. Reach. That's really well done, all things considered. He's pinched off, they're running him down, he's burning, and he still finds a 1D gun, Kenny. Yeah, I'll not take too it. <laughs> Well, Kenny had no weapon to be very near that P250, right? So, not a big deal in the grand scheme of things, but still, it is a kill, and that means Kenny does have to buy armor going forward, but there it is. Four and four now. Haven't really got much to work with the terrorists here. They have got a player in upper B, one towards middle. T spawn as well. I assume they're going to walk in towards B at this point, considering that's where the bomb is heading. Uh, just trying to get something rolling this Deagle, but flashed out. CT's repositioning as well. Looking to be aggressive at this point. Sixer backing away as he gets damage into mirror down to seven. Let's still just sit back patiently. Yes, okay, 4-4 four, four splits defense, but weapon's definitely still in the favor. Happy's going to get a lot closer onto this long door. That might be the right position to be in at this point in time as well. Flash in, smoke dissolves, it gets him in position, spot in the shadow as well. That's exactly what we talked about in that angle. He's going to get a lot more aggressive. That actually causes a trade to go back the way the terrorists. And they've got a UMP to work with. They don't have much HP left on JR and Mir, but they can definitely get aggressive toward this A site with that UMP. Apex is well positioned for it. Yeah. So Mir, oh, watch Sixer. Mir's going to have vision of him. Thankfully, that flash catches him because he could have gone down. Sixer's aware of it, turns around and finds him. And it is all on the sheep. Ah. Down he goes. But as you say, not much to gamble for in that round. They'll buy into it. They'll have to wait one more before the full buy comes in. And Kenny is waiting for his AWP. They're going to be ready for this on both sides in the next round. I think it's safe to say Vegas squadron, the underdogs here. Normally, if you know you're going to be that kind of underdog position, you want to go forward, have the grenades to work with all the AKs, potentially the AWP as well. So I think it's a good idea not to force in that second round. Try and get the bomb down. Obviously, it didn't work out for them. It means they can invest in a couple more Deagles and PT-50s here. But still, for MVS, they have got four SMGs going forward. Kenny has actually purchased one of those. That's interesting, all things considered. They didn't get the bomb down. They're presumably not going to have much weaponry to go into this round. So I thought he'd have waited to get the, the AWP out. But maybe if he gets two or three kills, that could boost his chances. It's still a little bit of a risky scenario going forward. But he'll still have enough for the AWP if he stays alive here and we go into round number three no grenades once again but making some moves out towards middles kashanda it's going to be apex waiting for him though and he's got a huge advantage here. he's got backup from sixer as well towards that window position just a matter of time before the first confrontation goes down and you're dead right i mean i guess definitely the underdog but they've made a name for themselves no one's going to forget them uh, anytime yeah. soon i don't think I after the win against nip <laughs> doing well all things considered i wouldn't have expected them to be in not only a game to get a chance to go to the Major, but I wouldn't have expected them to get much at all in this run. A happy good wrap out from Long Finds too, building up cash sticks down near the second, and Kenny will pick up at least one on that UMP, so like you say, he can build up cash. He's at 56.50 already, so AWP is available. But they have kept five players alive. Do you go for... This is a almost full bonus mentality, right? One M4, four SMGs, go super aggressive, push through three players in upper B, for example. You can see them considering it. They haven't taken a pause here. They are going to be keeping this weaponry by the looks of things, which is fine.
They could actually win this round. It could be quite explosive. An MP9, three UMPs, and M4 for six of them. The all comes out for JR. So they are going for it. A little bit of a risky move. Obviously, they have money going forward. So if they don't necessarily win the round, they want to make sure to do as much damage to the economy of Vegas Warden as they possibly can. They can certainly buy up going to the next round. Decent flashes from the CT as the T's do make it towards our blue bin area. Don't really have the range to challenge though. And that's Ooh. Apex going down with a nice drop from Mur. Yeah, SMG from that range isn't going to do much. Like no. you said, good positioning. They're getting aggressive. Get into that position. <laughs> Nade comes through. They know you're there, Kenny. Yeah, well, that just broke Molotov the moment he checked that smoke in, so that's perfect timing from him. Use the fire. Everyone knows the position. The Kerrigan spot. Remember, there is the graphic glitch if you're on certain settings behind that car with the flames in it. If you find yourself in that corner, I love to do it in matchmaking. It's, it's not as overpowered as it used to be. Yeah, everyone's aware of it. Yeah, it got updated like maybe like a year ago. It used to be super OP, but it's not as prevalent anymore. But yes, it still catches some people out. That's worth Shanda, MPK goes down. Like we said, this is a difficult round for the CTs. They've lost that man advantage now. Happy on low HP. Six are not far behind as well. And they have got full on control of a minute remaining as well. The problem is they have got four players actually committed to this side of the map. So they pretty much have to commit at this point. They don't know what movements the CTs are made, whether they're going to be in top of mid, T-spawn, for example. So you just want to be smoking towards T-spawn, flashing up together and making sure trading frags. At this point, it should be very difficult to lose this round. And they've got to open the pit as well, get a long plan down. That's pretty much summarizes it. Kenny's backed away slightly. Throws a nade a bit early. They haven't crossed over. That AK picked up on Happy brings them into a bit more of a range advantage that they did not have to start out with the UMPs. Yes, you can tap with it, but against AKs, good luck. Oh, this time doesn't deny plant, but it will force Kashander out of position. Caught in transition as well. Good play from six, but he's lost Kenny back toward Catwalk. Good pick up from Happy. That's enough to just limit it down to JR. Oh. He misses the up shot. Sixer nails it. Yeah. I think that was last bullet, was it not? Lovely, lovely work from Sixer. It looks so promising for Vegas Gordon. They had the long control, the bomb going down as well. Like you said, he didn't manage to deny it as well, but he comes in, manages to pick up three kills as well. Came down to that orb shot. JR with the long position as well. I was expecting him to be towards a platform. That's where it was planted for. Obviously, he had no backup watching those long doors. He wasn't sure where he's going to be, and that's Ooh. the final shot from I don't know if that was la second last bullet or last. I was, was trying close. to watch the corner, but it was within the range of being out of ammo. Well, that's a massive round for Envious to pick up. In terms of the money game, you can see now they pick up the fallen rifles there of Vegas Squad and the open hands of Kenny S now. We still just about have enough for Vegas Squad enough to get the bomb down here. So five AKs, but look at the lack of use. They did three smokes. That's it. One flashbang to work with. So they're going to be holding up. Gonna be committing just yet, but I just don't see how you get onto a bombs out here when you've got to negate Kenny S as well. He's got the AWP. How do you get to the A bombs out? We saw what he did to Tai Lu. How are they even gonna find anything here? That could certainly work though. Mur with a little bit of the Hail Mary play through the middle. Does take down Apex. Something to work with here, but now well, maybe just a B split. Smoke towards CT spawn. Try and operate quickly before the CTs have a chance to react. Kenny with that AWP has positioned himself corner of A so he can spot through as you see it there on a catwalk but also down into mid if they go that direction without smoke they put a smoke there but they're going back his direction. Do you want to go towards Kenny S? Everyone knows he plays his A position. They've got one flashbang to work with. That's not going to be enough to actually move him off. And they're only going yeah, happy so long. They're only going three players in. Ha Chopper's going to try and keep Happy busy and Hoochie's waiting for rotation so they've got to hit him without much to work with. They can go for the drop strategy. Flash does work. And he blinds up and losing Happy. He's pinched in. This oh. may work for them. Yeah. I'm impressed. Hoochie's now prime target because he's actually in a position to catch off rotations, swing in, force Kenny back in, and they work together. We, this is the one thing we talked about. We said, these guys have individual skill. They don't have the team cohesion. Today against NIP, they had it. Now, NIP looked very lost. I'd say this game they didn't show up for. Sure. Absolutely. But they're showing it again here. Good pinches, good plays together. It's good fundamentals, really. Like I said, that was actually... Oh, here we go, Sadik. It's a tweet for you. The ugliest Christmas sweater I've ever seen, but you still wear it with pride, and that deserves respect. Thank you very much. I really uh, looked for the ugliest I could find intentionally and I think it's I think it's actually quite beautiful. Oh, I'm going to wear this home. I'm going to wear it on Christmas Day. My mom is totally going to approve. You've always been my favorite little package, so... Thank you. Absolutely on point there. But, Matthew, let's get back into the game, shall we? The catchphrase of uh, our casting. <laughs> and it will be round number six. And like we said, FPS now. Their money was decent after winning his first full round, especially with that little bonus round as well. Kenny is back on the orb. Uh, but yeah, Vegas Squadron showing good understanding of the game there. Obviously, that one flashman they had to work with actually timed it to perfection. The eighth split coming in, negating Kenny S there. So a good job from them. They do have a stronger buy this time with the orb in the hands of JR as well. So we'll see what they can do here. Big round for either side. Whoever wins this pretty much is going to be forcing the other team onto an eco. Look at Towards mid once again. Doesn't seem like Vegas Squadron are afraid to walk through his door and take these jewels at the start. No damage inflicted as of yet, but here we go. Then four towards mid on the bomb is in towards upper B, so you can almost assume this will be a B split coming in here. MBK positioned for the tunnel approach, but no one had cover off mid at this point in time. 
Because it is going to be one player waiting over toward A to try and catch the swing. That's Apex. It's normally his obligation. He flashes in. He wants to go aggressive. Doesn't get all the way through it. Second flash may catch them again. They'll be ready for it, but they've got a lot of pressure on B already. And McKay only manages one. Sixers forced to the corner. This is going to be a lot of work for him to get out. And Chopper just slides underneath of his crosshair. Takes wow. him out immediately after. Lovely shot again from here. These guys are showing up with every talent they have, individual and team today. I can see them from here as well. They're getting super pumped. It's a big round, like I said. MVS is going to be knocked down to an eco as well. So after going down 4-0, they're showing some character. Vega Squadron fighting back here. A decent round for them once again. And this is great control from Murrah as well. That CD spawns mode. The CDs have to push through that at one point as well. And it will be him. Locking down a couple of frags there. That's a big scalp to take. Kenny is jumping through the smoke. Really just basic round from... Vega overall, but they're just effectively pulling it off, covering the flanks, eradicating risk as the team are concentrating to get towards that B side as well. He's shutting down that CT spawn. Rotations coming in from Envious, so they have to take an eco here, but oh, Happy has purchased him, huh? Gone for it. Can we have a look at his money? That's what game? I was going to say. Got? Happy's going to be... La so he's actually evened with the team by doing this. The only one that's still ahead is NBK. Right, so he's gone down to our 12.50, and we've got Apex down to $800. So they are going a little bit all in this one, and it does suggest they will be good going forward. But they managed to get some deagles, five sevens, and Happy with that M4A1S. Presumably he'll get boosted up towards short, potentially. We'll see what he decides to do here. They are still on the AWP, of course. Doesn't inflict any damage. And then it should exchange towards middle. NBK alone towards B. So... That's where the bomb is in three of the terrorists for now. They're going to be holding up for aggression. This is uh, a classic terrorist anti eco approach. You send one player of a decent spawn towards long. Just show your presence there. Try and bait out some utility. See there is a little stack going on, a very common position to stack. And then the other side of the map, the terrorists will try and challenge towards B. And MDK doing some good work here. Takes down Chopper. Could get more out of this, but it's raining Molotovs towards his position. JR takes NBK back. Does give them a bit of a chance for anything. Look at the amount of players on the outside of the wall already. Miss shot. Hoochie has to reload. It works well for Envious, so that gives them a bit of room to wiggle. Kenny takes advantage of it, catches off Mir. He's the only one that got a kill on this take. See sport as well. Behind them is going to be Apex coming in with that Deagle. Perfect flank coming in if he can time this well. He's got position. He's spotted already, but lovely shot. JR down. That's going to be pretty much it. Cassander's away from that bomb. They've got every position that he has to his advantage covered off, but that nearly cost them because he could have caught one in transition. Who was that exactly? Kenny S, actually, that was rotating back around. Oh, and... Did they get back to... Okay, I think they did. They tried to throw a gun over to Kenny while he was running up to window, and then I think Happy realized, wait, he's not going to get there, but he got back to the AK. They almost threw away a gun. I know it doesn't matter. They won the round they can buy, but it actually does down the road when you think about sure. the economic battle. Yeah, throwing away a gun down to a little mistake definitely does affect the bigger picture of the game. But there it is, 5-2. Envy has pulled one back with Deagles and a purchased M4 there from Happy. Lovely work from them. Vega squad are focusing towards that B side again, but nice flanks and good one digs as well. Nice to pick up the fifth round here, and Chopper miss throws a flashbang, won't be able to go for that long face straight away. Does throw a smoke just to take away the CT vision there, just allows him to potentially walk out, bait out some grenades there, you can see that works perfectly, just to take vision away, but Happy has got a nice gap. That's actually a really nice counter jumping up from that barrel there. So at least he gets the intel for now, actually using the smoke against the terrorists at this point. So this is a full default, we have got a full buy, full Vega squad, and they have got smokes to work with as well. So short control seems to be... The aim of the game here. Can go for the execution. We do talk about Kenny S being very strong in that position, but he is glass cannon for now. No armor, no nades. So it could be a little bit more difficult for him. Get set and ready. JR primed with the smoke. Kenny, meanwhile, still at Warlong, has Apex to rely on to hold him off. Apex actually gets out of Goose early. Usually we see once you're in that position, you commit on this take because you can deny the bomb plant, but he's actually smoked himself in. I think he's going to try and get a little more clever and push through potentially as they wrap by. Great shot, Kenny. Where the drop? Better still for Apex. Finds a slight gap and he'll get away as a result. Picks up JR and Kenny, therefore, can catch off Mir, who's in the middle. It's all down to Chopper and Hoochie, and they're bailing on that A plan. They're already heading back over toward B. They might get in towards B, you know. He's going to be six at defending them. He's only got 22 HP, and it's actually quite far away from any teammates. So he's going to do his best to hold them off as long as possible. Decent flashbang, get in a position where he can do something about this, but he does go down. But the Molotov will slow him down for now, so three on two. Still a chance here for Vega. Happy gets to window, not quite fast enough with that Molotov, as you said, slowing them down, but he times it to perfection. In the window he goes. And it was a great call from Vega to get back over toward B. Like you say, six yeah. are the only one there. Once you're inside that B side, it's all to play for. But Happy does well. But he did his job at that point, right? But he says, slow them down. He throws the incendiary, flashbangs as well. He gets the information that both of them are there. That means his teammates can commit and just work towards that position. But this was really nice stuff from Kenny S there. Apex as well. You can see it was quite a telegraph there, execution there. Apex right-clicking his smoke in front of the bomb side. Gives him that little veil to work with there. Dodging between that barrel position and the bomb side as well. Decent flashbangs. Shutting them down and funneling them back towards B. Which is fine. Six, didn't find a kill but he got the information, and I think we have a small technical pause in that we've been kind of played with the steam login issues, I'm assuming that's uh, happening again here, but it doesn't take too long to fix. So nope. that is absolutely Straight fun. back in.
And at least it didn't happen in a really pivotal round, like the mid-round situation, you know? So. Interestingly, oh, it's Mir's money, because Mir's bought up an AK, and he's actually gone to 1850. He's not much behind his teammates. It's a similar situation to what we saw, I think, was Happy yes. a few rounds ago, where he bought in while his teammates did not. That's what we're seeing again here. So four rounds, and we started off two in response from Vega, which were actually decent rounds in terms of team play. The one take on long where they pinched in Kenny, they managed to find all the kills required, and then locked MBK down inside CT. But then it comes right back to Envious' favor, and they've got economic control. If they were to lose this, and I know they're not up against much, they would be broken. So it's not like they've been getting away cleanly every single round they have. We saw it last one. Because six are down in B, they win it with three up, but it came close in a lot of ways. Well then, Envious sort of a decent lead so far on the CT side of Dust2. If you had to push me for an answer and tell you, where's Dust2 li lie in terms of like T or CT side? I'd say it's slightly towards the T side, but it just depends on the matchup and where the team actually favors go towards. I'd say Envious are more of an actual CT side of team, considering they have that world-class orb of Kenny S, someone who can be a little more dynamic and go for the aggressive faces, faces and see what happens there. So you're managing to get their first pick here, because Shanda taking down Happy. Five and four, Kenny is going to try and reply with the Eagle as well. This could be a little bit problematic for him. Takes a headshot as well. Apex to bail him out. There's an AWP, yeah. Ooh. Thought he might have tagged him up because Shannon, I think he did actually get him inside of the, the dumpster. I'm not 100% sure if that, if that damage was already dealt or Ooh. not. Mirror, lovely shot. That's going to put them inside B. MBK not quite there. Flashes in, but can't get control or an angle that favors him. So he's got to back away from this. They can get a bomb plant down. And Kenny with that Deagle, good spot. That's a bit of a desperate situation to try and jump across and get information. Could have lost the AWP at long, which would have changed everything by staying in that Deagle rather than being inside JR. Well, manages to get traded out by Apex, slipping in the window as his teammate went in. So a little bit of bait and switch play. It doesn't matter. Envious pick up the round. Yeah, towards long they went. It was uh, Vegas Gordon trying to show their hand in that position, managing to pick up one kill as well and a headshot. Kenny S at that point, but managing to get bailed out by Apex. They went back towards B, MBK. Decent flashbacks as well, slowed them down, found the players crossing across. Like you said, it was uh, a little bit desperate jumping past that door, but he shuts them down. And we're going to run number 10 here. Still a buy available for Vega Squadron. JR on the AWP, of course. They have got four AKs as well. Chopper, a little bit lower than the other team. The other teammates, he's only got the AK armor and no nades whatsoever. MBK gets tapped across the doors there. And we're going to run number 10. Kenny S this time. Still in his standard position towards car. Hasn't had to move around too much yet. And why not? It's all things considered. They're winning. It hasn't really been that pressured as of yet, but he is going to be facing towards long this time. Kenny with the angle, flashed off, tries to fire into it, runs to his left, doesn't know there's one up close. If he went to the right and hugged the wall, he might have survived, but he wanted away from it. And it actually trades in favor of Vega because they get two for the price of one as Happy goes down with Kenny. And Mir's actually going to slip up toward Catwalk as a result. Apex not quite in position as he was watching toward middle. Might get caught by this as well. Mir's got to be dead careful. Fires in early, but gets position at the corner. Easily done. And Hoochie, I was going to say easily <laughs> done as well, but... He liked to challenge us, perhaps. Yeah, he was always getting that kill considering the HP of MBK, but made it a little bit tougher than it had to be, perhaps. A six and now just at that UMP. Uh, it's four on one, they know exactly where he is, so I don't think he's going to be surviving too long. There it is. Hutchie takes him down in the end, and I guess Gordon do pull one back. 7 3. As they keep showing a lot of aggression towards A at the start, but uh, you could see that long position. Kenny S tries to go for the aggressive face at the start there. Face of his long doors, a perfect flashback comes in. I thought he was just going to hide in the door and let his teammate back him up there, but you could see him just trying to run back a little bit. Got out of position. I think that is the wrong decision. All things can consider at that point. Just wanted to get in the corner and bait them to actually fully commit to take him down. That would have probably been a little bit more wise at that point. But we go into round of 11. 7 3. Uh, a force by, I'm assuming, overall from Envious. So oh, they haven't got all in here. So two players have MBK down to $50, six or seven fifty. The rest of the guys in about 2K. It's going to be Apex, who had that weapon picked off by JR. And they have worked out now. It's going to be a lesser buy for Envious and slow things right down. Six about his mid doors. Interesting thing about that is, like we mentioned, they may have won three in a row, but the rounds were actually well contested, and therefore one round against them, and they're broken. So sure. this is a great chance for Vega. Also, one of the testaments of never giving up in rounds that you're behind in. Try and get every kill you can in every situation. Obviously, if you want to save a gun, that's a little different, but if you're on pistols, you know, if it's a tight situation, you're looking for exit kills, every kill you get is so valuable, and this is exactly why. They now have a chance to potentially pick up a fourth round and Envious be able to buy in the next, but that's big. That's massive for them. Rather than going up against guns here and getting broken again, then you go 8-3, maybe 9-3. The half's almost over at that point, and you're way behind. Well, then, still in that 5-on-4 situation. Happy just exploring middle with the Desert Eagle here. We know he can be very, very efficient with this weapon, but Murray's going to be coming towards him as well. All those mid doors, trying to find the next frag. Just get a bit of intel working for him. I don't think you want to walk here through by yourself. and makes a bit of a meal of it, but does get the kill. 
and his teammates towards long. That should secure the round at this point. But Kenny S with the M4, the only weapon available for the CTs. He is waiting for them on the A side here. Such a tough position to play. Playing sound, wants to take advantage of peak. JR is already staring down with the AWP. Philly Sixer hits a lovely shot on Hoochie, but they now know where he is. Flash comes out, Kenny oversteps, and JR nails it. If they fully commit and get near him, then he's got a chance to try and spray them down, but it's usually a one and done. Cassandra will find Sixer, MBK last alive, Deagle in hand, spotted from the barrels. MBK can potentially nail a headshot, but Mir, I have to say, is dead accurate today. Yeah, he was looking good earlier against an IP as well, so good day in the office for him, managing to hit some lovely shots there, 7-4. I think this has to be another eco for MBS there. One player invested in the M4. Kenny has picked it up, like you said, a very difficult position to play, and especially when you have no utility to work with either. He's kind of hoping that uh, you get the timing dead accurate there, but JR backing the players up as they're pushing up towards long, and now we have a decent spot for Chopper. Well, you talk about Dusty being a very spawn-centric map. If he can actually get towards long and get some decent intel at the start, that could work out very nicely for him. He chucked a smoke in at the start there, giving himself a little one-way, I'm assuming. That's quite cheeky, I like that. Doesn't manage to get anything with it, but JR opens things up towards B. MBK now waiting with the P250. Gets a headshot in, but can't find the frag there. So that should be the round concluded at this point. The remaining envious players towards the A site. Just the pistols as well as the bomb makes its way towards the B site. Okay, we'll back off on this. They'll just sit. Wait it out. Hoping potentially they're going to rush onto Catwalk. I'm not sure what the plan is here because all they've got is armor and a few guns to save, but Vega. Well, if they keep their armor. At 100, right, it's obviously upgrade, but you're up against AK, so just keeping the body armor is just going to be valuable. You definitely can't win the round. See if the T's go hunting for you. Maybe take on an AK, that would be good. But just saving the body armor at this point, I think, is going to be beneficial for them overall. Let's pull them back in. Kenny's going to have 3,100 at this. They'll get their third loss, third round loss bonus of $2,400 going in. He'll be able to op in the next. Yeah, it's I imagine starting, that's going to be the call. It's going to be an interesting game, though, now, Matt. 7 5. Very good money starting to swallow at this point. They'll have a ton going forward. So. Five players surviving. Like you said, NBS back with a full buy though. Could be interesting to see if they can get the double up. I think that's a possibility. It's normally um, NBK who joins up with Kenny S on this map, so we'll see whether that's uh, a realization here. NBK doesn't have enough to buy that weapon. Kenny S does. So Kenny, uh, Kenny saving the armor makes a lot of sense because then he's not glass cannoned. He wouldn't quite, uh, he would have had 650 left over, so he could have gone for the same, but gives him a little bit more utility to work with. And you're dead right, they are going to go. Oh, he does go glass. I thought he had armor in the last, my mistake. I think it was happy and yeah, it was so, so my mistake. There was two out of the three. I thought he was one of them. Interesting. So I thought that was the justification because, like we said in the last few rounds, in regards to Vega, if you can pick up a few kills, they now have a buy in hand because they kept all five alive. Either way, smoke in. They're already forward of it. They go fast. Here's able to trade that doubly so takes down MBK and the fast play from Vega is going to give them the B site once more. You're dead right. We've got an interesting game. Because Hoochie's going to plant behind Triple. That's going to put them with a vision toward Tunnel. Wow. And not only that, he gets off the bomb and finds Apex trying to get cleverly inside of the smoke. Yeah, that's an all-in play from Apex at that point. Doesn't want to wait for his teammates. Wants to deny that plant. They know they're up against it. If that bomb goes down in a three-on-three, -three, it's a difficult buy for NBS overall. Like I said, Kenny has in that glass cannon. It had a real tough time. So I don't mind that play from him. Wants to try and deny the bomb. But unfortunately, the hero play from Apex does not work out. He goes down and that signals another save. Four envious at this point. It's Kenny S saving that glass cannon orb. So, like you said, Vegas Squadron, they've got quite a lot of money going forward here. They're going to wait till the bomb's guaranteed. Then they can possibly go for the hunt if they get one of these kills, especially the one towards Kenny S. They're in a fantastic position going forward. And it's going to be 7 6 here, Matt. May I remind you, if you're just ch tuning in right now, this is Envious, former major champions as well. Up against an unknown quantity going into this one. Many people wrote them off completely. No one expected Vegas watching to make any sort of damage at this event. And now they've knocked out NIP, denied them the major, and looking to do the same against Envious as well. That'd be absolutely nuts. The thing is, when I saw Envious go 0-2, and, and it was G2 versus Envious, I kind of thought in my head, only one of the French sides would make, would make it. And I thought, okay, that's the decider. Envious is 0-2. Like they said on the desk, they'd be the first team to qualify after going 0-2 and, and making it through still. So I thought, that's it, that's done. They have a great chance, but you're, you're dead right. Vega's built into this tournament. I think they're rising to the occasion because when they started, they looked very tense. Again, we mentioned they had some skill individually, but they look very tense and not really coordinated. That's changed. Knocking out two previous major champion teams as well. Imagine that storyline. Buy their stickers. Yeah, right? They'll be worth, <laughs> they'll be worth a lot. Well, then round number 14 comes in, and you can see it's not looking too pretty for Envious at this point. The AWP is safe, sure. Can he just buy some armor? But <laughs> taken down by JR. Five on four, just like that. He had to go for the pick there, Kenny. They're up against it. So he goes down. That's a huge scalp to take. MBK picks up the AWP, but let's see where he can get anything rolling with it. At this point, Vegas Squadron, no, they've taken Kenny S down. Probably going to be the best call to go towards the A side of the map. That's where he's traditionally very strong indeed. 
This is actually looking very good now after a huge lead for Envious. Vegas Squadron looking to tie the gap here at 7 7. Mir's on 14 and 7 right now on the round 14 when they started four rounds down. And I think he only had about one kill in those four rounds. So he's definitely turned it on. Oh, the guns are rolling for them. Apex is going to be on the site platform as well. We talked about this position with Kenny. So he had the M4. Right now, classic A split coming in. Four towards long. You have one person holding middle as well. As soon as the attention goes towards long, he's trying to lock up, catch the rotating players. The players are hiding on the bomb site. And then here come the flashes. And there's Mir. Here comes the backstab coming in. And you can see that how perfect does that work, man. That's a Ooh. classic A split. Good counter flash, though. I think it may have been thrown out by their team. I'm not 100% sure if that was intended to go over the site. And he just happened to be on the wrong end of it. But like you say, it was well timed. It leaves Sixer, no armor, AWP, round 14. They're going to buy in the next. Might as well go for what you can. Finds the first on Chopper. Flashback in to try and get more position. I think he definitely does. I think he's going to go. Drops down. AK available. Oh, that him, was the one. Oh, you're dead right. It was. He's low enough. The pistol could have still worked if he had just fired into it, but came close. So de definitely an impressive performance. 7-7. Seven, seven. They pull this back against Envious on Dust2. Yeah. After getting wrecked by G2 on it. Absolutely. This is... Very, very impressive from them. I thought it was a bit of a, a fluke, maybe, uh, an anomaly against NIP, but they're right into the occasion here and tied things up with Envious now. There was money available. Envious were being a little bit conservative with their money going in the previous round. They could have forced around it, but just made sure they have money for round number 15. Can still win the half here, but still, and will be Kenny S and another glass cannon here and a fast play from Hachi and Co. towards Long. They had a good position on Happy there. The team flash comes in. Chopper finds one. And then it's going to be Apex replying four and four still. But Chopper looking aggressive and Ooh. does significant damage towards Apex there. I, that's just actually quite smart because you know if they're going to retreat smoke out, they're going to be again. hugging the wall. He does get found down by MBK and you're dead right. Another A split. It's going to force them back inside CT, but he knows that he's going to be running down the wall. Just fires straight down the lane, actually pegs him. Didn't quite take him down, but he fell in the end anyway, so good damage done to help his teammate on this site. NBK smoked off, as we mentioned. Pretty easy to contain them inside this CT position. They've got to go. Bomb's going to be planted. Cassandra's going to watch. They can't push through the smoke for free. They can get toward Elevator, potentially go toward a boost. Sixer's going to do that. Has to watch Car in the meantime. As I say, he's going to do that. He actually ends up trading, and guess who wins the half? It's Vega. Wow. With 8-7, impressive finish as well. They get six rounds in a row. That was 7-2, Matt. And Vegas scored and showing some amazing mental fortitude there. Very, very impressive indeed. Quite basic approach as well. We traditionally see Dust 2 teams, especially at the top end of the scene, going for lots of AX, QZ, denying all posts by flashing them off and having the set smokes and stuff. These guys, long spawn, four rushed long. Mir, you wait towards middle, wait for the timings. He seems to be getting up short every single time, undetected, and then is not thinking about it. They're so tunnel vision towards that long area. He's coming in and actually taking them down by himself when his teammates are taking all the aggro away. Head to head. Unsurprisingly, Mir going to be the one we mentioned. 106 ADR. He carried against NIP as well. I have to say happy, good half as well. He's over 100 in the ADR. Both those stats are quite impressive, but it's two more kills for Mir after starting off slow. His whole team, for that matter. Pretty impressive, I have to say. There's two minutes, remember, they, I think it's up to three at half they're allowed to take, but they're going to they're gonna sit and take some of this time out available to them that's, uh, uh, yeah. that's around, I think, <laughs> I think undoubtedly. That's definitely going to be a wise thing to do here. So, the T-Pistol, let's discuss the options as to what Envious can present to us here. Um, B-Rush seems to be quite common at the moment, going towards those B-Tunnels, maybe waiting for the initial grenades, then pushing in afterwards. A lot of top teams doing at the moment, especially like the likes of G2. They seem to love the B-Site. Um, towards Long as well, uh, a lot of teams like to just maybe take the Long spawn if they get it. Just actually sent all five there, challenge the CT, try and trade frags, couple of smokes towards spawn, flash up and try and get that quick plant down. Or you can go for the full default, maybe a mid-split coming in. Those are pretty much the, the most common approaches at the moment. They're probably deciding what's going to be the most suitable against this sort of lineup of Vegas Squadron. They could go aggressive here. We'd like to see Pings boost up towards short, go for that first pick, lock down any sort of set piece that the terrorists might have in mind. I don't think anything tops NIP, who lost the major status for the first, or legend status for the first time, I don't think anything will top them going out in this tournament. That is, I'm actually in disbelief. Yeah. But how about if Envy does? They go from major champions out twice in groups and now not even in it. This Vega's like the giant slayer. Man, it's <laughs> I'm buying a lottery ticket and I'm putting numbers on Vega in CS because this is insane. Happy's already covering off stairwell. They've pushed in at least, but Cassandra's out on catwalk and Mir's inside the door. They could actually go for a trade switch to try and peek this. The one thing that could save that watching down middle is Kenny's position inside suicide. Well then, we have got four sets of armor for Envious. Default approach for now. Like I said, that one smoke suggests a B split would be 
suitable at this point. The one smoke towards CD Swan, the flash over. They have got players in B tunnels as well. The bomb towards the top of mid, but not clear at the moment. But Kashanda push off towards short. Looking for that first pick. If he can take that happy here, that'd be fantastic. A little bit of a slow reaction there for Kashanda. And he gets a headshot in return as well. So he'll have to fall back. And Envious looking to go towards mid. Lots of damage being inflicted, but Chopper strikes first. Chopper does strike indeed. Smartly so. Kashander's tagged on 10, so he's got to go very passive inside CT spawn. They're going to put a smoke out on the platform. That'll allow a plant, and they'll hold it for Catwalk. Not surprisingly, they've got control of it. Now watch Mir, because he knows the fact that Happy's inside middle. He's going to bring Chopper over to work with him, so this should be a trade play. And this is actually quite a strong play to trade on, if they can. Keep in mind, they haven't yet. This is awkward. Come on. Very awkward. They've got to take him down. They bring a third. That buys them some time, keep in mind. And not only that, NBK comes out, because we normally see the one versus one there. If you contain Catwalk with a Lurk player, or someone's sitting back, it makes this all too hard, but they buy enough time and MBK's done the job. That might be enough. JR Chopper, one versus two, now one versus one, but they're low on HP and Chopper, only 28. MBK's jumped away, he just has to stay alive in this. He does have a kit Chopper though, keep that Maybe in mind. Maybe he goes for a full defuse set. MBK could be in trouble, he's got the burst fire on the Glock though, here jump. we go. Yep. It comes down to a 50-50, yep, there no, it is. To nail it. Okay. Well, the jump shot with the Glock burst fire, that's fine, right? You pretty much go. I'm not sure there was time available, it might have been a couple of seconds out of it, but still, it is the NBA's picking the pistol there. Coming towards that A site was Chopper. They found that first headshot then. And the push through middle, had the CT looked on that kill towards Happy, that would have been a lot quicker. That would have been much better for them. You can see Happy staying alive on 10 HP. He's running away, trying to waste as much time as possible. That's actually a very intelligent move from him. And ABK doing everything he can to secure the win at that point. Like I said, the Glock burst fire. And that's what the situation you got to do 25 damage. And you know where the bomb is, and the CT had to come up. Not too much of an issue there. So MBK towards long, like we said. He's that long spawn, trying. Overwhelm the CT, does some damage towards Chopper, but he's going to be committing, finds the first frag. Two more to find, though, in that long area. MBK holding corner to get them in better position. Behind barrel, hold, let his teammate advance, they'll take turns, almost a game complete frog down into Ward Long, a great lineup from six, or takes three. Not surprising against the pistols, but it was well executed, they'll go down toward Long, and that's wide open, we just saw Hoochie's well removed from the action over toward the B side of the map. Yeah, not really much he can do with this situation. I'm afraid he's got the CZ, and uh, he'll be in lower B. If he can get a frag of that, that's fine. It's not like he's going to survive. It's actually a lower kill reward on the CZ. Happy coming in. That one-handed MAC-10 does drop, but uh, picking up a MAC-10 is not really the most beneficial save. I think it'd be better just to find a kill with this weapon if you can. Get the extra $600. Doesn't actually manage to pull it off, though. So actually goes down Apex with that final frag. And it will be 2-0 in the second half here for Envious. Doing a good job so far. Six out. Nice little spray down there. You can see the counter flash coming from Vegas Squadron. Trying to overwhelm the terrorist there. But the flash landed behind Six out. He managed to get that easy frag with the kill. So nice work from him. We go to round number 18. This should presumably be the full eco from Vegas Squadron. They purchased a couple of pieces of 50 so far. And a smoke as well. So that smoke used towards mid-doors potentially. Maybe stacked towards B5 players. Something like that. And uh, we'll see what it decides to do. The smoke does indeed go towards mid. And they're trying to disguise it. They've got four players going towards long, so it's the other sort of idea. So one player towards B. The terrorist on 100% sure of that, but it seems like it doesn't matter either way. Sixer rips off the head of the only player in towards that position. Apex is on the mouth of the tunnel toward B. Little does he know that it's wide open. He's just holding up to let Happy get in position to figure that out from middle. Stack runs around, make it in behind them. Kenny will be the one to spot it. Has to hit shots with scouts. Ooh, does actually do so. Looking for a third, can't quite nail it. Teammates come around, that'll be fine. Everything's all controlled. They'll plant the bomb inside of B, wrap back around Apex. We'll spot them coming in from T. Needs to be a little bit careful not to get caught off with both players peeking, so he takes a step back, isolates them down, and very well done. It's now 10 rounds for Envy. Having been down 8-7 at the half, it's now Vegas' turn to buy. Here we go. Vegas scored him the first time. Bringing out the weaponry. It's going to be them on the AWP in the hands of Mir. Double orb setup to kick things off, Matt. I like it a lot. Why not? And we'll see where Revius can hold them off. It's going to be Apex still on the scouts and happy with that MAC-10. A similar approach to what we saw in the first half from Vega. See if you can keep that bonus mentality going. But we'll see as we go to round number 19. Double orb setup. Will they dare face towards the likes of Kenny S here? Fires off a shot towards the mid-doors. Unable to inflict any damage just yet. So let's have a look at all positions. There will be one towards long for now. And then one in the back of B. Very standard stuff. That'll be JR and Mir. So, for now, five players, though, from Envious. With these sort of rounds, you know you've got the lesser weaponry, the Galil, the MAC-10, for example. He thinks nice and simple, something a bit unorthodox, and we'll see whether Kachanda can hold off this very contact approach towards the short place. He's waiting for that drop shot. Flash in, knows they've got to be close. When does he take the peak right now? Good shot, drops away. 46 HP. It's good enough. They'll go to the AK instead. Apex has to get away from that, though. Goes for the drop. It's well-timed, but... He's looking for Cassandra and realizes, oh, you've already killed him. Hang on. But he's got position. That's more important. 
He can hold off this exact angle. JR's aware of it. Lovely shot. Double up setup still in play. Man advantage. Bomb just approaching on a catwalk. Now they trip over each other. And Chopper gets to line up Kenny as a result. Thank you very much for the gift. Sixer and Molotov's chopper back, tries to find a better angle, but Hoochie's already found his teammates. It's just he remaining, and Vega <laughs> wins the first gun. Not only that, Chopper does it just before burning alive. He commits in the flames there as well, knows the CT's going to actually be in a second position. Time. He did that with a deagle at the start of the game as well, that he's killed someone in flames. That's right. Well then, towards short MVS when they lose the first frag there, and it fell apart at that point. You can see them bumping into each other. Kenny S can't find the frag towards the A side as well, dropping down towards CT spawn, just... Bit of a nightmare situation for them overall, but Envy still have enough money to buy, of course, like we said, as a bonus round previously. So they do bring out five acres this time. No Kenny SAWP, but still enough to work with here. They've got the utility, five smokes, four Molotovs, and maybe a little split coming in here as the bomb is like running outside towards long doors and three players heading towards lower B. No aggression from the CDs just yet. Pretty standard setup for them. 2-1-2. Two, two. And that double orb setup is still prevalent for now. Kenny. Position with an AK, flash across, make sure they can get over behind Xbox for Apex. Doesn't want to confront anyone that's waiting, but JR certainly is. Same position we saw the M4 in last round, but this is more prevalent to an AWP. We see this more commonly. Bates out a shot quite easily, I have to say, from MBK. That is going to flash him off without a kill this time. Perhaps enough for Envious to get a better entrance. Smoked and contained in the meantime, but they've got control of Catwalk. Yeah, to execute well, should they need to. They know an orb's in that position. They've actually pushed him off as well, taking that vision away from the CTs. And now looking like an A split as they do set up two players outside long. Still minutes play with you. Won't have to fully commit at this stage. There's only one towards long, and that's going to be Kashanda. He's in the pit for now. And we have, of course, got the A set up with no orbs on this side of the map, funny enough. It's actually two M4, so this could actually work out very nicely for Envious overall. Beat them in, Chopper. Shander likes to go to pit. Now, he ran to pit from that corner. MBK surely will have heard that. He gets there as well, right as it, just as his teammate goes away. Thankfully, Chopper turns back around, comes toward Long. Now they can set the cross, and they work it out to get Shander the first kill, but they both go down immediately after because Apex makes his way in from Catwalk, does the drop, as always, but doesn't commit to CT this time. He helps his teammates establish presence at Long. And with that early two kills, they can start to work onto this site once more happy. Inside the headshot position will hold off towards CT. Hoochie's on the other side of the wall. I want to save the weapons at this point. It's a really difficult situation the CTs are in, and that should signal for that call as well. Double orb set up to all the retake. Not really a possibility against four players as well. No kits available for these CTs. Find a frag on towards Happy, but that's given away their position. They're going to be sticking together here in that buddy system. And towards the B sites, they might decide to go. Actually separating one towards B, one in T spawn is holding off those rotations from the terrorists here. They want to hunt them down. They know they've got orbs to save here, so it's a good call from the CTs to try and stay alive, of course, but doesn't look like MVS want to go hunting for this one. I guess they know against the AWPs they've got a real low chance of actually taking these guys down, so good to be keeping three players alive. They're absolutely fine with that. Money in disarray for the Russian side, though. Should be able to actually, I would say maybe it's worth the force around this with two orbs saved as well. Yes, they'll put your money in a real tricky situation going forward, but with two orbs, I think you almost have to. They managed to bring out a UMP and an M4 as well. Shanda, his money sits at 3,200. He'll probably run a UMP as well, maybe a Famous. We'll see what he decides to do here. MP7, that's an interesting one. Yep. Okay. Not what I was expecting Why, to see. So he gets a head armor as well. Interesting decision, all things considered, but still. We're at number 21. Maybe it's not going to be 100% sure where the gun lies. It's going to be a default for now, just trying to work that out. Playing with Chopper as well, so both SMGs at long. Playing closer angles as a result. I'm, I'm curious to see if that works or if they even go that direction, because how much retake potential do you have with those guns against armor? Mir, meanwhile, inside of mid, does have the AWP, tries to fire it through the doors. Remember, that's one of two. They've got JR over toward B, and he's playing a tighter angle. He's actually pushing up. Happy's on the stairwell, but meanwhile, it's going to be Apex down. Perfectly played. He's so good at getting in that position. Finds the first kill on Hoochie. Immediately, the attention to Mir's drawn that direction. But again, he's on an AWP, so he's got to be so careful about where he chooses to look and select his shots. Nearly caught by a flash. They're going to get through. He tries to retreat. No chance. Happy's already on his heels. Really nice round there from MBS. You can see what they're trying to do there. Sending players up towards shore. And actually, as soon as Apex gets towards CD spawn, if he finds that kill, they smoke off towards that area, stop the rotations. He sits in CD spawn to actually lock in the players who are on the A site, waiting for that A attack to come in. It's really well done from MBS, and it should be back towards B, in fact, as well, that is around the world at the moment. And it's really a good mid-round cause. Great awareness as to what the CTs may be doing at this point. At this point now, bomb down, four on three. I think it's to save this weaponry. And I say weaponry, you've got a UMP and an MP7 just trying to defend that AWP player. That's JR. 
He's towards the B tunnels out. Spotify at the back of the site. Or does he? Now he does his apex. Or happy, I should say. Fires off a shot towards the tunnels. Yeah, get away. That's the one you need to keep out of the three. Apex is going to be spotted. Definitely the advantage for him on the headshot. Realizes Kashander's in suicide. Throw everything you've got at him. Blind him up. Just get the AK. But here comes Kenny. One. Potential for two. They're all quite low, in fact. Could find three if he gets over to the AWP in time. But JR denies it. And that should be enough to secure both weapons. Thankfully, the AWP being one of them for Vega. Well then, that's a huge round for MVS to pick up, all things considered. But they do save the orb once again. They decide to force around this. They have managed to save another weapon as well, which was the AK-47. So an AK, an AWP, could force around this again, but it's getting to the point they do this. Their money's going to be in the absolute bin at that stage. So maybe they go for the more conservative approach. Their money's around the 2K mark for now. 12-9. So yeah, it doesn't matter they'll force it into this one. Let's see what they can do with the rifle and the AWP. Remember at half, we talked about the stats from Mir. 16 kills after 15 rounds. We're now on round 22. He's got 17. So he's gone dead in this second half for Vega. Still leads the way for his team because he was that far ahead, but he's definitely quiet on the CT side. Kashander's quiet. Silence put down already by MBK as they try to get aggressive with the pistols. Chopper goes NOA boost, does get up with the AK to find a kill in return. Got to get away from that position, give up mid in doing so. This will pull now a rotation from JR. Remember, he's on the AWP, but Happy's already inside the door, so who's going to have to jump? Well, there's a shadow, doesn't matter. JR nails it. Takes him down to 46, but it doesn't matter. He can just play an angle inside the B site. Chopper with the AK. These two guns doing massive work. Kenny could find them in transition, does hit him. But watch, because it's an off-angle position for Hoochie to be playing, and he's going to go run forward and grab the AK. He can still hold this off. It's just six or remaining. Who taps away, can't find the shot. Headshot showing, and it definitely was available. I might have fallen back there and kept my head down if I'm on the site from the CT side, but they both got guns now and they know exactly where he is. They also have the bomb down on Catwalk. Better shot, JR Vega, great round to win. Very sloppy play there from MBS Goal. Lots of time remaining. They're, so, they're facing certain choke points, very big ones, and putting themselves into risk. It didn't have to happen there. MBK going out towards Shaw by himself. He goes down. Kenny has to put into position where he has to refrag that. Yes, he finds one kill in return, but there's another CT waiting for him. Needs to make sure using that buddy system, especially when you're against the pistols, and he could walk into the stacks as well. Good work from JR. Another position where there's no refrag potential there from the French side, and it's six up. He finds one kill on the A side, but JR locks it down, and now look at the money. It's starting to swing. Envious now just with Tech 9s, PD50s, Apex purchase. The AK-47 is not a force buy. They still have the lead for now, so they go for the conservative approach here. Partial buy going forward. And that's a massive round for Vegas Squadron to win, and Envious, I have to say, maybe panicking. A lot on the line here, of course. It's a very stressful match for them. Best of one against a team that just knocked out NIP as well. 12-10. Certainly still anyone's game with this sort of round going forward. So JR will sit on the drop spot once more with the AWP. Chopper down below in CT this time. It puts a lot of pressure on Kachander to hold long alone. It's different setup, variation of the setup. Well, they're actually allowing the B side to be fully open at this point. All things considered, that's going to work very nicely for Envy is presenting towards A. They'll have fast rotations actually getting there. JR can get a nice early call off as well. I presume Envy will flash around this corner momentarily. But JR is going to be locking them in. They don't really have much to work with here. Flash goes in. He drops a perfect incendiary. He actually segregated teaser. They have to run through that. And now he'll fall back towards the A ramp. Should get away at this point. But the damage inflicted towards the T's. And they have got a smoke available. But flashbangs as well. Just going for the short plan here. Let's see what they can do with this one. Fast and steady. Flash off JR, force back slightly. Chopper's not going to push through on that. They'll get a bomb plant toward Cat, despite JR's best efforts to try and get the shot through the box. You got it. Did get it. You're absolutely right. He nails MBK, but doesn't deny the bomb plant, more importantly. So Chopper still has work to do. Has to be careful about walking back up. Doesn't want to lose this. There goes the AK. Last one down. Tech 9 as well. Kenny, try and get in position. I think he realizes there's someone hunting him down, so he might be able to pick up Uchi on this, but I think, if I'm not mistaken, are they on the bomb already yet? Chopper's already got it, so hold this. Doesn't matter. Kenny does have an M4, but he won't get there in time. It's just going to be barely covered off because Kenny does hit Kashander, but we're one round the difference late in the game. That's fine from Envious. Sure, they don't win the round, but they managed to take down four CTs. That was a partial buy for them anyway. They managed to get the bomb down, so that's going to increase their efforts going forward. That was lovely Two stuff. Two wall yeah. bangs. Yeah, why not? Great work from JR there, but still, that's actually affected the CD economy heavily. If MVS pick up this round, you can almost assume that's going to be an eager for Vegas Fortune going forward after the reinvestments are left at around the 500 to maybe $800 mark across the board. So here we go then. Round number 24, 12-11. And Kenny has a look like that hit. Doesn't actually inflict any damage just yet. But 
This is definitely turning out to be a very exciting game indeed. Another dig for Envious. And a singular orb set up, of course, for Vega Squadron. That's going to be in the hands of JR. This time he will play towards long. Aggressive. Looking for that first pick. Can be backed up by Cassandra as well, who might want to push him towards this position. He can be flashed out. He's only got the Famous. Might as well see if he can find a kill here. Sixer normally waits towards that box position. Doesn't seem to be aware of it, but gets the frag anyway. What is that? Equal exchange for now as MBK takes him down. 4-4. Four, four. Chopper's going to back away. Smoke out. Trying to spray through. Apex can't find Mir. Be another NOA boost for them. JR stepped up so much with this AWP on this CT yeah. side. He's right now trying to push up Catwalk. It's an unorthodox play, but because they've got the NOA boost, they've got a crossfire set. Unfortunately, Kenny bests him and takes him down. That's going to force Chopper to fast rotate. He's on the ramp as well. Flash out Kenny. He's hunting. He drops bomb. He wants to get an angle on this, and he may. He's getting ever closer to that corner. Smartly, Chopper goes left by some sort of instinct because they don't have long covered off. He's got to make sure that's first contained. Well, then, this still. This could be interesting. Hoochie's getting in behind them. He's rotated back out of mid. They might not be ready for this at all. Despite going up cat, happy. Makes his sound. Come on, Hoochie. No. Come on, where's the kill oh, on that? Oh my god, how's he got away with that? That could have been a blunder. How has he got his headset on backwards or something? How did he not hear the AK shot on his left? That would be hilarious if he actually does, because he definitely <laughs> looks like to the did. right. <laughs> all right, well, there's a theory we need myth busted. We can get a camera on that, maybe. Can he get tagged, though? Nine HP, but Apex, he goes. In the mirror, regardless, that's going to cover them both off. But they've got to get to this bomb. Two versus two. Good shot, Apex. That'll help them a lot. Smoke's still out. He's going to tap in behind the barrels. Hard shot to hit. And Hoochie goes down. Ooh. Envy's going to pick up round number 13. So close on that exchange. And look at the HP on Kenny as well. That's so, so tense there. Kashanda, he goes all over this Famous as well. See, he's not even checking that box position, but somehow gets the frag on Sixer as well. He was flashed, to be fair. But then Kenny S coming to life towards short. And that low will be in confrontation as well. Had they have lost that one and happy found a kill. <laughs> there it is, Apex. Thank you, Lucky Stars app. As we go into another EK for Vegas squad, and this puts Envious in a very good position going forward. Should be 14-11, should be being the operative statement there. We'll see what happens. As it is going to be aggression towards lower B. Maybe undetected for now. I'm not 100% sure if Kenny saw him. Was a smoke down. I'm sure he'll be given the information. That could be a possibility. You can see on the minimap right now that T's not even committing towards the B tunnels there. It's going to be envious. Uh, Apex and Happy went outside. This is the way you want to play these anti ecos. Don't give anything away. See if the CDs do get aggressive. Work out what weapon they've got towards you. And then stick together. Still treated like a gun run, especially in this scenario as well. This is for the major. Don't make any mistakes at this point. Yeah, that's, that's the story here. I mean, Envy, if they pick up this, they've only got two to go, but Vega could very easily find themselves back in this game, especially if they do some economic damage here and force out rebuys, because yeah. they could break them very quickly. That's not going to start off all too well for Mir, but Chopper's got, ooh, interesting position. Okay, I thought he was on top of the box when I first saw this on the minimap, but he is inside the smoke. They don't read it. AK down to his right. Can he get there? Because Apex is still hunting. He's got it now, but down immediately. Good trade, Cassander. Evades inside of the smoke, Kenny, but Kenny's gonna hunt him, goes down oh. regardless, this is huge! Massive for them now as they have bomb down inside of the site. AK just over to JR, yeah, he's got it, so... AWP and AK, but watch your backside, NBK slips through the middle. Cassander now, not the main op on the team, has to hold this off, does still have bomb to work with. And Sixer's not confident to work through tunnels. He wants to go with his teammate, MBK, so they can go for a fast trade. Smartly, Cassandra gets in the tunnel. Does he? No, he doesn't. If he's in the tunnel himself, he can start to back away from this. He could take them one by one, but he's yeah. still not sure where the second player is. The smoke that smoke should that's tell good. it. All right, that's very well played from MB. It's good awareness. That shut down that possibility. Now, Kashanda, they seem to know he's there. They can even spray that smoke and he would go down. Should be around victory at this point. Not really much he can do about this. Push it through the smoke. The timing is going to be everything. Nails the first shot. One on one. Six is the plan. Sixer's gonna go safe, plenty has to, six seconds, but he can't get the lineup, knows he's not at default. But does he think he's still in behind the boxes? Certainly does, but that crosshair placement, Flash comes out, reveals the fact he's not, but where's he going? Because he could have jumped over the ledge. Massive, massive round for Vega, they've done so well to pull this in. Nade's gonna bounce, will do slight damage on Sixer, not quite, gets taken down by the box, goes in, knows he's there, Ooh. can't hit it, Sixer with the headshot. And Envy get 14, but Vega come very close to breaking them. Envious needs to be very careful with these decisions they're making. Kenny S, this is the one. He's got the bomb on his back as well. He goes all in there. Didn't have to go in. His teammates towards towards middle as well. Could have waited for the split to come forward. But he put his team in a very problematic position at that point. 1v1, Kashanda. He pre aimed that position as well. Matters couldn't find the shot there. If he wins that round, but Rao goes out the window for Envious. 
But still, they do manage to pick it up. 14-11, the money's still in dire straits for Vegas Squadron. Four and fours and a Famous as well. An all-in moment. They've got second stage loss bonus. They lose this round. That's pretty much it. Can't really do much with round number 27. Three-man stack towards B. Maybe going aggressive here. Happy is the master of actually evading these sort of pushes. Good flashbangs coming in. Apex knows one player's on the left. Molotov's mouth should be a frag coming in. Here it is, but man, he strikes first. Strikes twice as well. He's so good at favoring the trade situations once he gets lines up. Seems to play well off his teammates rather than in solo situations, but does get two. That's crucial. It'll force Envy back over toward the A site. And still they're on potential breaking point. Kishander, great shot to start it off. It's just going to be an AK and an AWP. NBK, knowing that it's planted for Catwalk, is going to go back that direction. Knows likely they're going to be pushing in that direction, so smokes it smartly off. Just sit on the wall. Keep no, yourself hidden. No kits here for the CT as well. No nades against the Kenny S, AWP, and MBK playing very intelligently here. Perfect smoke going down, and Kenny S backing it up as well. This actually looks very good for Envious, considering it's a four on two. Spots the player long. Is that going to distract, though? This is where the smoke comes into play. Lovely shot, MBK. Mir through the smoke. He's found another in the round. Go. It's on to Kenny, though, but he's so good in these situations. Kenny fast snap, and this is the third. Not quite there. JR still on 36. Going to try and push above Kenny. He can't do it. You would have known he would have hit the no-scope, but you're right. He doesn't have a kit, and Envy realizes it. They realize it late. It's going to be 15 map point Vega. Unfortunately for them, don't have a lot to work with. They'll force their hearts into this round, not just the weaponry. Four on two situation. Like I said, they were looking very good. You've got players like Kenny S, the absolute king of the A bomb side as well. He manages to hold them off. The smokes are perfect. They're picking up utility as they pre proceed in that round as well. This is just Kenny S's bread and butter, is it not? These sort of situations. Flick shots holding the A side. He's got the bomb in his favor as well. Bomb goes off. No diffuse gets available. And map points. At major points, I guess we can call it at this stage for MVS. Four in a row now required for Vegas Squadron. Had to force into the round and does some damage on towards Hachi. Tagged on the cross. He stopped up, actually. He actually made the jump, stopped up for a second to peak top mid. And credit to Vega. Like I say, they'll force into this with their hearts. They played with their hearts all day today. Yeah. And if they had won the last round, you're at save for Envious. 14 12. We still have a massive game. I mean, we still do. I'm not ruling them out. They've won some ecos in this. Yeah. And now they've got a little bit more weaponry than even that to work with. AWP for JR is going to be watching long this time. He has gone to short multiple rounds before this. Instead, it's going to be Kashander there. He's the one with the pistol. Well, then, they have got the AWP to work with, but yeah, Famous is UMPs and a CZ. Certainly not ideal. Someone needs to step up here. They're going to be aggressive towards short, it seems. That uh, will be Kashander and Chopper. Uh, the really two players with nothing to work with here. This is SMG and a pistol. Apex around the corner, gives himself up. They'll get it traded back, but look at the dink that comes in. That's big. They get two for that. It's going to be Kishander down. Hoochie's still on 21, remember, out of all this, but they've got the advantage, and JR holds off long. We are far from done. Happy and Kenny, the last two remaining. Another four versus two, mind you, so we've seen that win. Well then, a lot of noise made towards his long doors. I think Chopper has heard Kenny S at this point. This needs to get a tight angle. One and done is absolutely fine. There's no teammate to back him up. Should be able to take down Kenny S, no problem there. Yep, waited out, headshot and bomb as well. And there's the pickup from Mir, happy down. It could be an overtime. They can still play for this. They keep four players alive as well. You're absolutely right. Certainly a possibility. I think the money is actually a breaking point for Envious. This could be 15-13. They need to take an eco here and a timeout from Envious. Good time to do it. They've guaranteed overtime. Let's just work out what we're going to do going into this one. We just How bring close. up the money overall. So they've got $1,400 coming in for the loss bonus, but the rounds have been so tense every single time. It's like 1v1s, lots of clutches coming in as well. So actually, the average money lies around the $1,800 mark. And we have got three players on 1400 So certainly can't buy into this one. Might even be a double eco. This is a very interesting situation going forward. And we have got Kenny S purchasing in towards this one. He purchased the Desert Eagles. He goes under $700 here. Take some time to work out what the player is going forward. The Vega Squadron out of nothing. The UMP, the CZ, the AWP. And to get back into this one and break the economy of MBS as well. And you mentioned there's been some close situations. There's been some clutches. This game could easily be a reverse scoreline right now for Vegas favor. This has been extremely close. Yeah, clutches have just come down to not having a diffuse kit, for example. Like so many small variables that have been working in MBS's favor. What are they going to work with here? Three smokes, Tech Nines. P250s and a couple of flashbangs. Looks like they'll be favoring towards the B bomb site as well. There are two CDs waiting inside the site. Mia will be just checking out the middle as well. Nice incendiary to lock them out and just make that smoke a little bit useless at that point. By the time they actually decide to go through, it should be dissipating. Oh, wait, the B 
Enemy site. Mirror sprays in, finds only one, flashed off, needs to get for a reload. That'll bait in his teammate, but he's in behind the box, hasn't lined up at all. He's missing a ton of shots. This could be big. Can he trade? They've got B site. And Happy inside mid's gonna cut this down to a three versus two. They picked up guns, and there's armor on Happy. This is huge from Envy to walk in, and those missed shots from the second player inside of the site could absolutely haunt and be the death of Vega. Two versus two. Both players, Sixer and Cassandra, on either side low. A bomb down default, covered off. Actually, I take that back. It's in behind the double. Covered off, and Kenny hits JR. I think so. It might be. There is a kit this time for Cassandra, but they can set the crossfire. And picking up the rifles, massive. He's made a lot of noise. They know he's exactly inside window. Goes for the peak. He's covered off, and Envy pull it off. They will be in the major. And credit where credit's due, man. Vega, hats off. Way better than anyone expected. But in yeah. the end, Envy is going to come back from an 0-2 deficit to making it. Well, I guess being formal.